How would you like to get a sneak peek at Magic's Video Pro X 2.0 due out at the end of February 2010? We've got a sneak peek for you next on In the Viewfinder. There are several new features on uh, Video Pro X 2.0 that uh, weren't in 1.5. We're going to show you some of the uh, new features that uh, is in 2.0, some things I think you're going to like. First thing I want to show you is uh, when you select file or any of these uh, uh, navigation uh, buttons up here, you now have icons on the side of various things that you're going to use often. So your eye will go directly to that and it helps you to... Uh, find what it is you're looking for by simply locating the icon. So I like the fact that they've added icons to, uh, to some of the selections uh, in the uh, navigation menu. One of the really uh, important new uh, features is uh, when you title now, you title actually on the screen rather than opening up a, a title system. So we will go to standard. I'm going to grab just a standard title and slap it down here the way you normally do. And you'll notice that now you're titling here. Go back to General and all your controls are there. So you can uh, just click on this and you can make it the font size you need. You can change the font of course and you can make it bold. You can uh, you know do anything to text that you would normally want to do right here. You can actually uh, go ahead and just fire off your uh, Zarya 3D if you want to make it 3D text. But when you, uh, when you title something, you simply just type over it. And there you go, you've got your title. When you've got it the way you want, click the little uh, check mark, your title's there. Another feature that I really like, and I'm going to put this against something, well, let's see, that may be good right there. We'll put this right here. And that is the ability now to, um, to do a, uh, a fade on your title. So you go to Advanced, and it pulls up this little Advanced setting, and select your shadow, and select what color you want your shadow to be. We'll, we'll leave it black. And then you have a transparency control, so you can add a little fading to that shadow. So if you can see it doing it back there. Let me, uh, let me drop that shadow way back behind so you can see it there. We'll drop this up so that you see there's a drop shadow below. So you can add a transparency to that or you can add a blur to it and make it fuzz itself out like so. And I wanted just to show you over the shoulder shooting the actual screen here so you can see how you're doing that drop shadow. So I really like that function. You can change its color if you want it to be a different color. Uh, just You can do the same thing there. That helps you to see it a little better. And we'll do a bright red maybe. Bring that bring it in and then and you'll notice that as it adjusts it's going to adjust your text if you're you know if you're expanding it beyond your your screen level there but you can still do the outline the 3d and, and such as that apply to white or black but there you go you have that uh, nice transparency on your uh, on your titles um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this for a moment and another nice feature that uh, is in uh, uh, 2.0 is the zoom function. Now let's suppose that you're uh, editing this scene right here and you want to zoom into the frame. You've got an additional new button right down here that you press the button, zooms right in on it, do whatever editing you want to, and then click it again and sets you right back where you are. I really like this function, the zoom function. You can move back and forth, with another little arrow key here and of course you still have your pluses and your negatives and of course you can still select you know if you want to go to like a one minute look but you just click that button zooms you right in and click the button again zooms you right back out so that's another nice feature that's in the software another thing that you're going to notice is your source monitor has become a lot more useful now uh, let me uh, blow this up a little bit here okay and you can now select something that you want to compare to something that you're working on using your source monitor. 
I'm going to use the select object comparison. You've got several different functions here, but we'll use the select uh, object comparison and select this object here. Now, if I, I move further down the timeline, say to here, now I can play what's on the timeline at this point, but I also still have this future object. So if I need to look at that future object and see you know, exactly what it's doing, and then maybe do a comparison of what I'm, about, what I'm editing now to what's coming up, I can now compare the two. That's really nice to have. Nice feature in 2.0. Uh, another uh, additional thing is your uh, time code. You can now export your time code into your um, actual exported video file. So you can export that time code and it puts the time code on, in a separate channel on the file. So if you're playing the file back later somewhere, you can find a precise point in it because that time code will be embedded in the file. Another nice feature that's, uh, that's there. One more thing I want to show you and that is your uh, effects tab now. Go to additional effects and since I have ProDad uh, Vitacene, any of your uh, VDub plugins, any plugins that you have are now integrated into the uh, editor. So you just select it, it pulls it up for you. If you've selected a specific scene, you can then apply that uh, effect to that scene. Work with it here in, uh, in ProDad or uh, Vitacene. And then once you've done your work that you want here, simply exit. The whole thing goes away and it returns you, let me return back, back to editing program. Returns you right back to the editing program and now that effect has been applied. So it's integrated more into the software and I think you're really going to like that. You have direct support for VTS plugins, time code rendering for export, you got that comparison mode in the source monitor. So your source monitor isn't just there for when you're like inputting video uh, from your camcorder. You have it now where you can use it in conjunction with your primary monitor. You've got this nifty little zoom function. It puts you right into the action, takes you right back where you were. And three-point editing is something else that's new, and that is that from your media pool you can drag a specific object onto the timeline, and when you drop it there on the timeline, it will cut, separate everything out of the way, and make room for that new element. So you don't have to cut and then lasso everything and push back and try to make room for it and, and you know put your new element in and then grab everything and put it back together. It does it all for you with just one, one, uh, one drop in, and it's there. So that's some uh, really nice things in Magic's Video Pro X 2.0. Video Pro X 2.0 will be out at the end of February. Uh, it's not currently released in English and of course we're talking about the English version. The German version has already been out for a while in Germany. This is the English version so for America and the UK you'll be getting it towards the end of February. Magic's plans to release it then. They're also setting up a completely new website just for Video Pro X so you'll have uh, uh, information there on the software, uh, a board where you can ask questions, things like that. Uh, and then, of course, you'll be able to buy the software directly off their new website, which will have a URL of, you know, Video Pro X. And that's coming in February as well. So, really, I mean, when you get, when 2.0 comes out, you're more than likely going to want to upgrade or you're going to want to make sure that you get the 2.0 version because it's got a lot of nice additional things in it. Of course, you can undock all of these things, move them around and configure the uh, software however you like. Uh, I often actually move this, this screen to here and set my uh, uh, working pool here in the middle and then maybe decrease this and give myself a little bit more uh, of the timeline room to work with. But uh, many of the functions are really exactly the same. You've just got these new added things. And I'm really, really, really excited about uh, uh, the new version of Video Pro X 2.0 coming out in February. Your first look right here on In the Viewfinder.